LinkedIn is huge. The most popular professional social networking platform with over 1.2 billion registered users worldwide as of early 2025. People use it for everything, finding jobs, sharing content, and connecting with professionals across all of the different industries. But with all that reach, it is surprising how clunky and outdated the interface can feel sometimes. So, I decided to put together my own redesign of LinkedIn's UI, focusing on making things cleaner, faster, and easier to navigate. Here's my take on how LinkedIn could be better. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let's start with the layout of the homepage. We have a three column layout. We have a center line footer here, some games and puzzles on the top. The left and right columns have different width, making the feed column not properly centered. The left column has multiple cards stacked with the profile, stats, a little free trial CTA here, stats about the companies, and then these additional menus. Since they're all related to me and my profile, how about we merge all of these into one card also add my network here since this is the list of people that I've connected with and all these are the menus here. We can keep the free trial option here, it's fine. I've also added this little copy URL menu so that you can grab your profile link quickly when asked for when you're filling out job application form. And move the footer underneath it. Left line of course for better legibility. Next up, the middle column, which is the social feed. We have this big box here for starting a post. Well, since we can clearly see that it has an input field, so when I click on it, it should start typing immediately, right? Wrong. It's going to open an overlay in the middle of the screen and it can't access the rest of the screen when it's there. If it's going to be a pop-up anyway, why don't we shrink this and make it prettier? Now let's talk about the feed itself. They have two options for sorting, top, and recent. What does sort by top even mean? Let's remove that and make the post sorted by recency by default. Often, I'm seeing posts from people that either I don't follow or don't know at all. Now I totally get how the algorithm works. They think that these posts would be interesting to me because of whom I interact with and what topic do I typically engage with, and that's fine. But sometimes I wanna filter out those and just look at updates from my friends and colleagues, who's getting a promotion, who's starting a new job. Basically, only the people that I follow and care about. Let's add a simple control we can toggle easily between for you and following. Drives and next have it. I don't see why LinkedIn should. On each post, you have the option to like, comment, repost, and send. First off, let's change this to share and use the share icon to make it so that we can actually share the post. The actual share menu is currently hidden under an ellipsis, and even then it says copy link to post, whereas send is meant for you to send it to someone through a direct chat and loading takes forever. Let's combine these very similar functionalities under the same share action, just like how every other social platform does it. You'll also see that posts will have multiple types of reactions, whereas there's only one like button. And to access these other reactions, you'll need to hover on the actual like button for like a second. Let's change this so that all the reactions are available at a glance. I've also done just a little bit of research and practically nobody uses these two emojis, so let's get rid of them. The comment section, in all honesty, it's fine. I'll just add a little more emphasis on the author and a little line connecting the comments so that you can easily pick out which comment is replying to which comment. Moving on to the right panel. Why are these games here again? And why does it take up so much space? Below that, we have the option to add to feed and it's a list of companies or people that have never heard before or don't care about. We'll repurpose this whole column to focus more on LinkedIn's very own premise professional networking. I'll throw in some job recommendations instead of companies, network recommendation based on mutuals, and maybe even some group recommendations. I'll even add an easy apply only filter here. If they want to keep the games on the platform, let's move it to the top navigation and have a dedicated page for that. Let's talk about the profile menu dropdown. This whole thing is a hitbox. Why do I need to see my profile picture again? There's already four of them in this very screen. They also don't need to show the whole bio here, so let's clean this up and add an arrow so that it's clear that you go to your profile page when you click on it. Take a look at this mess of an action menu tray. I'll simplify this menus and only include the settings, help, language, manage company account if you have one, and sign up. Everything else can be within the settings menu. Now that we have the screen all set up and done, there's one thing left to do, the top navigation. For business, 
and the premium free trial can be moved under my profile, pushing it all the way to the top right corner. Beside the profile icon, we can have the notification bell and messages. Oh, and also, since we already have the messages on the top menu here, why do we still see it on the bottom right corner? Honestly, the sticky messaging panels feels like a customer support chat. It's out of place, let's remove it. We already have my network on the profile card on the left side. So let's remove that from the top navigation, which leaves us with home, jobs, games, and the search bar. Let's reposition this a little bit, move the search bar to the middle, and there we have it. One last thing about the homepage, I really think the left and right columns should stay sticky when you scroll through the feed. This way, users can easily access their profile links, messages, job alerts, and network suggestions without having to scroll back up. And also, keeping network and job recommendations always in view encourages more interaction, which is a good thing. I promise to make games its own page, so here it is. This is what the games page used to look like. They also have these winning streaks and achievements that's only shown when a user completed a game since apparently they want to incentivize users to play these mini games daily. So why not put it here as well? Searching for something on LinkedIn has always been a confusing experience for me. When I search for any keywords, they're showing me all kinds of results. Three jobs, a bunch of user posts, some people that I don't know. There's also companies, groups, courses, and products. Only after scrolling through all of those stuff, I can see the list of relevant jobs available. They also have type filter on the left panel, but it's also repeated above it. And one more thing, do you realize that when you're searching for jobs, sometimes you get to filter by salary range and most of the times you don't? Now I'm not sure what's going on here. It seems to be random. What kind of filters do you get each time? Let's fix this. Starting off, let's redesign this whole filtering functionality. What do people search for on LinkedIn the most? I don't think I'll need to do any research to figure out that the answers are jobs and other people. People are here to look for jobs and the platform should make it as easy as possible for users to find jobs. They also might search for other people like who's going to interview them next week or who's that new guy in the office you keep seeing on lunch breaks. And maybe they search for companies, right? See what's the company all about when preparing for job interview 20 minutes prior. But other than that, I think we can hide these other types of results in a see more button and make these three the primary categories. And you can always expand this to see the other types of results. Let's also make this filter panel permanent on the right side of the screen. And I'll only include the filters that are actually relevant and useful when searching for jobs. Location, first and foremost, date posted and salary range are my top three for sure. I'll also have the easy apply and verified only filters here and we can have the job type, work type, number of applicants and industry below that. The actual job description layout itself is fine, honestly. I just think it can be slightly more space efficient, so I redesigned it as well. Have you ever wondered how unnecessarily long the scrolling experience is when you're seeing your own or someone else's profile? Let's fix this. How about we keep the profile card design from the homepage and use the remaining space for the content like experience, about, activities, and all those other stuff. Let's modify this card a little bit, add some extra stuff like followers and connections, open to work or hiring dropdown, and the settings button. The whole unending scrolling experience can easily be fixed with a horizontal tab. I'll divide the sections in the tabs, which allows quick navigation to specific sections like education, history, or work experience. When you break up content into manageable chunks, there's less cognitive load for the users and also it looks cleaner. I'll also redesign the featured section so that it can display a maximum of three items instead of just one. We can have the type of item on top and have a little pin icon to emphasize the importance of these posts or links. Well, that's it for the video. What do you think? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like, consider subscribing, and I'll see you on the next one.